I'm going to create realistic graphs in 3ds Max using Forest Park. Okay, I'm just gonna let me minimize this. First thing you need to do is create the part where you want the forest to that is the, the grass to be hosted on. Well, you can host it on the floor, this floor right here, but I like to use line to create where I'm going to host it on because I just want it to be in the part that my camera is going to cover. Putting it all over the place is going to make the file heavy and it will take longer time to render. So in order to put it where I need it, I need to draw this line. It's one of the easiest way to do this. You can always come back and I edit these splines. I'm done drawing the line. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to open Forest Park and then go and select the preset I want to be using. Okay, you see the 3D and then you see the preset. So just double click on the preset, go to layered lawns. Okay, in layered lawns, you're going to see different types of grass. Okay, you're going to see this one. Now there's a two there are two types of grass in this place. You can see the one that has large and you can see the one that has detail. The one that has large is used for when you're doing like area view that is far away. Okay, that's you're not going to be seeing the details. You're not going to be seeing the edges. Okay, but when you are close up like I am right now, it is always advisable for you to use detail. But if your system is not that strong, if your system is not that fast, there's a way around using the large, but for the purpose of what we are doing today, we're going to be using detail. All right, so I'm going to select this. I like this. Okay, I can maybe, you know what? Let me just use this. I think that will be more beautiful. No, this instead. So I'm going to import it. Okay. When you import it, the next thing you, you have to do is select this line. Now you might find it difficult to select this line. Okay. All you have to do to make it easier for you to select this line. This line is under the category of shapes. Okay. You come over here, set it to shapes. That means I cannot select anything here other than shapes. Okay. But before I do that, I want you to come over here to the forest park and you look here in the mode. You have to be in generate when you want to generate a grass, like a realistic grass that we're about to do. Okay. If you leave it in, in, in custom edit, it's going to be dropping it one by one. This is very handy when you want to drop trees. Okay. When you want to put trees one by one. Okay. But when you want to generate grass that is going to cover an area of land or an area, you know, sort of, it's always good to put it in generate. Now, when you put it in generate, you can now come here and select the shape you want. And when you do that, you say, okay, you say, okay, again, you can see the grass is here. Let's do interactive render and see what we have. Okay. Now when I come here, you're going to see the grass over here. Now it might be a little bit low. Okay. If you want to raise the grass up, if you want to move it around, all you need to do is come over here, select the shape. That's the line that you use to host the grass and then use the move to move that line up. And find out that as you're moving the line up, the grass is coming up too. Okay, don't worry, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to exclude objects, geometries that you don't want from being covered by grass like this. Okay, so I'm going to bring this in down a little bit. Yeah, so now we've got our plants all over the place. That's the grass all over the place. And it is also growing on our walkway. We need to do something about that. So how do we do that? Okay, so now you have to come back here and set it to all. Okay, select. The way you select this thing is you keep clicking. You keep clicking on the area that has it, you know, and as you keep clicking, you will be looking at, at this place. So when I click the first time, you see it's selecting surface. I click again. It is selecting basic wall. I click again. It is selecting forest 001. That is what you want to select. Then you come over to the modify tab and then go to area. When you come to area, you will see this stuff over here. Okay. This is the thing that is included. So we need to exclude some things. Okay. So. What we need to exclude is the geometry. When you select this, you're excluding a spline. So to exclude the geometry, you click this second button here. All right. I'm going to be on this view like this. So you find that we are not even seeing the geometry we want to exclude. A way you can get around this is turning it upside down. You can see it from the underneath board. When you hover around, you see that the geometry is going to show up. All right. So I'm going to stop this for a bit. Okay. We don't need it for what we need to do. So I'll just click on this now and then select this. Say no. Okay. And then I click again. Okay. And then I come here and I select that. I've already selected the area I want. So I don't want to do the camera clipping stuff. So you click 
and you remove. All right. You click and you remove. You click and you remove. Okay. So it's just like that. If you, if you click again, it is going to select it instead of removing. So that's why you click and you remove. You click and you remove. You click and you remove. Um, another way we would have made this thing easier and faster for us is by selecting all these things and making them one element. Like so, if I select this and come over here, okay, go to editable match like this and attach it to this, okay, and this, and this, um, walkways, okay? So I think that's the end. So I'll just come out and then I'll select the forest again. Okay, I've selected it. Then I'll come down here and, and then click this. You see, everything has been excluded. All right, so I'm just gonna bring back this thing so that we'll see what we have done. Okay, you can see that it's no longer covering the walkway now. It is just growing around it. That is one of the ways you can create realistic grass in 3ds Max. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.